With a key break in the Golden State Killer case, inside this small house, a free DNA sharing company had no idea it was used to track a serial killer. The arrest is raising new questions about the power of these genealogy websites. You take DNA tests to learn about your family tree, but you could be unleashing much more information. KPX 5's Julie Watts is taking a closer look at these privacy concerns for us. Jules? That's right. Now, authorities say that uh, they did search actually several public genealogy sites. Those are the ones that let you upload a file from DNA process somewhere else and then you upload it to the public site and you can search their site for family matches. No search warrant was needed by authorities. It's all public information. My Heritage and Ancestry are a couple of the big names, but investigators say the breakthrough came from GEDmatch. Behind this white picket fence on this quiet residential street in Lake Worth, Florida, lies the key to decode an unknown number of crimes. This is the home of GEDmatch. Investigators say the genealogy website helped them capture who they say is the elusive Golden State Killer decades after his last murder. While you might expect a lab or a server farm, GEDmatch is a small operation run out of this one-room home office by this man. Curtis Rogers didn't want to be interviewed, but allowed a photographer to shoot this video. GEDmatch is an open source, free genealogy website, largely run by users and volunteers and funded by donations. Unlike Ancestry and 23andMe, GEDmatch doesn't process DNA samples. Instead, users upload their results from those other sites and then search GEDmatch's larger pool of possible relatives. But while the website was created for genealogical research, a disclaimer notes it can't guarantee users will not find other uses which is exactly what investigators did. Uploading the DNA data of a sample taken from a crime scene years ago, they searched GEDmatch for people who shared genes with the Golden State Killer. Turns out someone related to D'Angelo took an ancestry test at some point, and their information ended up in the database. By researching that person's family tree, investigators could narrow down which relatives fit the description of the killer. In response, GEDmatch posted this warning today. While the database was created for genealogical research, it's important that GEDmatch participants understand the possible uses of their DNA, including identification of relatives that have committed crimes. Now, users can ask to have their information deleted from GEDmatch, and this isn't the first time a crime was solved with family DNA searches. Bottom line, it doesn't matter if you've ever taken an ancestry test. If any of your relatives have and made the, the information public, they could actually use it to identify oh, you. Yeah, clearly a lot of privacy concerns. Mm -hmm. but, but this isn't, it, it's not foolproof, is it? Not exact science. Uh, no, and actually investigators in this case did learn that the hard way. We found out today investigators actually misidentified a 70 three-year-old organ man as a possible suspect in the Golden State killings last year. They were using the same genetic profiling methods. They say that man exhibited a rare genetic marker also found in D'Angelo's DNA. In this case, they said they got a confirming DNA sample from outside D'Angelo's home, presumably garbage, and that actually does not require a search warrant. So basically, most of the work they did here wouldn't require any sort of search warrant. It's all out in the warrant. public, yeah. right? Yeah. Public information. It's everywhere. Wow, Thanks, that's crazy. Julie.